everybody. Granny Strong Bones here. And today we're going to do a core exercise. Now, we have three rounds of these exercises. There's 12 exercises in each round. Now, you can do them two ways. You can do reps, meaning you can do, say when we do our donkey kick, you do 12 reps on each leg. So you just count up from one to 12. Or you can put it on a timer and you do 30 seconds on each side for each exercise with a 10 second rest in between each exercise and a 30 second rest in between each round. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests for um, core exercises, people wanting to strengthen up their core. One thing I wanna talk about before we get into this exercise is that if you're trying to shed down weight around your core area, you're gonna need a lot more cardio. Core exercises build muscles, which is gonna keep you nice and toned. It'll stop you from having a ton of loose skin as you lose weight. That's what these exercises do. But in order for us to look good and look toned, we have to build muscle. So core exercise routines are fantastic to help you tighten up and tone up. I'm gonna start off doing, this is like a basic exercise. We're gonna do hips and core today. It is um, gonna work on your hip joints, your glutes, and just your core, and a little bit of your lower back. Your back and your core, they, they kind of tie in together. You know, you get your, your six pack here, which all of us have, your obliques here, and then your lower back and your lats. So all of that tie in together to help, you know, um, tighten up, you know, ladies, you know, it kind of help bring in our natural, our natural curve. So we're gonna go through this routine right here. I'm only gonna do one round. And then you can decide how you want to do it. If you want to do it on, um, sets and reps or sets and seconds. Either way, it's fine. This is a super beginner's class. You can do it on the mat like I'm doing it, or you can um, do it on the bed. I know a lot of people that come to me say, I need a beginner's, beginner's exercise. And a lot of times, even though us trainers think that we're giving someone a beginner's course, it's still advanced to some people. So with my exercises that, that I put together, they're for anybody. Anybody can do them. And you can just subtract or add to it. And as you get better, you can make it more and more advanced. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it here on the mat. I'm gonna go through the 12 exercises and I'm gonna do them with reps. So I'm gonna do 12 reps of the 12 exercises that we're gonna do. Today. Make sure that you have a towel because you are going to sweat. A little bit of movement makes you sweat. So I have a little towel just to pat the sweat off my face. And water. You want to make sure that you have water. You want to stay hydrated at all times. A lot of people think that if it's hot, we need water. But no, if it's cold, wintertime, we need more water than we do in the summertime. So always stay hydrated. And we are going to get started. And we're going to get started with donkey kicks. So this, remember this ab exercise is hips and abs. So you're like, why is she doing that? It's not a core exercise. Hips and abs. And we're gonna start with donkey kicks. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come around on all fours, right here. You wanna make sure that your hands are kinda under the shoulders here, kinda get your hips squared away. And then you're just gonna, we're gonna start with that right leg. We're gonna do 12 donkey kicks. One, two, Well, all right, 
So the next one, we're gonna go from donkey kicks to fire hydrants. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Well, okay, from here we're going to go to side leg raises. Side leg raises work on our, our hip abductors. So, what are you going to do? You're going to come down on your side, just like this. You keep your legs straight. Some people do them at an angle. Either way is fine. So just make sure that you're comfortable. And then you start to lift. Two. and 12. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the opposite side. Now you can roll over and do it, but I'm gonna stay facing the camera. So I'm gonna just come around here and begin. You could also go a little more if, you, if you're more comfortable down here doing this exercise. It's absolutely okay to do that. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you have uncomfortable clothing. The next one that we're going to do is going to be mountain climbers. So we're going to do six on each leg. I'm just going to count out to 12. But again, you can do 12 on each leg to make it 24. Or you can put it on a 30-second timer. So we're going to go to mountain climbers. So again, you're going to be on all fours. You're going to kick those feet back. Now you can just walk them in like this, or you can jog them in like this. This is what we're gonna do, we're gonna do 12. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Boom, okay. So after the mountain climbers, we're gonna do some leg raises. So leg raises, they're kind of hard, but they're gonna help strengthen that lower core. So as you advance in the exercises that I put up, you're able to do things like wipers and leg circles and things like that. So for your leg raises, you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna put it in a diamond shape. So it's index to index and thumb to thumb. And you're gonna put it under your lower back, right here, like this. This is gonna be your support once you lay back. See that? So you have support in that lower back. We're gonna do 12 leg raises. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, break. The next exercise is flutter kicks. We're going to be in the same position. We're just going to be moving our legs in, in little kicks, not high kicks. So don't do your legs wide. You're going to do low kicks, okay? Here we go. Again, diamond shape, lower back, hips up, and flutter kicks. Just like that. Take your 10 second break. Now the thing about it, when you do core exercises and you're beginning, you always wanna make sure that you take a break. When I first started, it was really hard because your core is one of the hardest things to work on. So take that break, 
If you need water, get water. Um, always listen to your body. Take a break whenever you need it because these exercises can be really hard, especially if you're doing them in the summertime in the heat. Always take a break. So the next one we're gonna do is called heel touches. So you're gonna come into like a pinfall position here where your knees is bent, your um, back is flat, and uh, you're gonna just take your hands and reach for the heel of your shoe with a, with a small crunch right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. All right, that was fabulous. So from here, we're gonna go to crunches. Now crunches, let me move this water. Crunches, you can do them two ways. You can keep your hand on your thighs and push your fingertips right past your toes, or you can take your hands, put them beside your ears, and crunch up like this. So you inhale down and then you blow it out as you bring it up. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, So crunches, leg raises, heel touches, all those type of things, they really focus on your whole entire core. Okay, we're gonna do another one. Remember, these exercises that I'm doing here on the mat, you could absolutely do them in the bed. So what we're gonna do, the next one is knees. So you're gonna sit up, you're gonna round yourself up on your glutes, you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna take your hands, support yourself right here. So we're gonna turn those hands. So you don't wanna do them like that, you wanna turn your hands out right towards your hips, like right here so you can balance. You're gonna lean it back, keep that core tight, remember to breathe, and just bring your knees to your chest and kick them back out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so those are knees. That's knees. And the um, last one that we have is called a dead bug. A dead bug, just like this. You're just gonna lay back, flat on your back, your hands up, you're gonna put your feet up. And what it is, this is a full court touch. So get all eight of your muscles here. So legs up and it's opposite arm, opposite leg down. And that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that there is a beginner's core exercise. You can do it however you feel. If you're more advanced, put it on a timer, do it 40 sec 45 seconds, a minute at a time, each exercise. But if you're a beginner, start off slow. Even if you have to do six. There's nothing wrong, we all have to start somewhere. We all have to begin. When I started, I was 45, I was really overweight. And I wasn't, I didn't feel very good. Now I haven't completely reached my goals, but I'm working toward it, but I'm healthier. I feel better. And my fitness level is through the roof. So stay tuned for your next core exercise from Granny Strong Bones. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks for coming. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell for when I upload new videos.